Howdy. What I'm going to show you today has never really been shown before in typology. Now, in the MBTI, we tend to work with four key terms. Intuition, thinking, feeling, and sensing. Each represent different hobbies and interests and values and motivations. Intuitives value creativity. Thinkers value intellect. Sensors value practical action. And feeling types value their personal experiences. Now, what I want to show you in this video is that there is actually a relationship between each of these and that you have a unique preference in between this. Uh, and what I'm going to show you, first of all, is that intuition is essentially the combination, a unique combination of feeling and thinking. And similarly, sensing is a unique combination of certain aspects of feeling and certain aspects of thinking. Okay, so let's get into it. And don't forget to click subscribe if you like and are interested in things like this. Okay, so if you know your personality type, you know essentially what puts you in a flow state. What will put you in a state of calm and natural effortless action, right? But getting down your type can be difficult and many can be stuck wondering, am I an intuitive or am I a feeling type or am I a thinking type, right? But essentially what you really want to do is pick one of these, right? So you want to find one which aligns with who you are and how you think and the others are less important because these tendencies, if you have an NT preference, for example, that's less important than if you are a dominant intuitive or a dominant feeling type, right? So, okay. I said that intuition is essentially feeling thinking. What do I mean with this? Well, essentially intuition is experiences that we have drawn from feeling that have been rationalized. So if you take a feeling and you rationalize it, essentially the product is intuition. Now, what this also follows is that if you take something that you have rationalized and then try to experience that, you get sensing. So, they are essentially the invert of one another. What that means is that intuition is typically known to be creative. And why is it creative? What makes intuition creative while sensing is traditional? Why? Do sensors favor tradition while intuitives favor creativity? Well, first is because there is an order here that is important, right? When thinking goes into sensing, when thinking is felt, there's a difference in how the experience and the outcome result product is. Essentially, what we're doing here is some basic alchemy. Alchemy means combining different things and seeing their relationship to each other. Okay. So, when you think about something and you form a rationalization or you intellectualize something, you say that, uh, for example, this is the sky and that is the ground, right? And this is the sun and that is the moon. You make a system of rationalizations about what you are experiencing, right? So imagine you're in a room, you are a child, you have no language, no semantics to understand anything, right? You can't really experience anything. You can't really know what it is that you're experiencing, right? Now, but if you have, and this is what happens, of course, as you grow up and develop a system for things, when you start developing a rationalized experience where you draw distinctions, differentiating different elements in a room or in a, your environment, essentially what you do is you develop a kind of system of reasons. Now, if you want to prove these kinds of ideas that you draw, if you want evidence to back this up, if you don't want, don't just want to think about this, but actually want to prove that that's real, if you're interested in this, then you think like a sensor. The sensor is the scientist that seeks to apply their thoughts. And so they are trying to experience it for themselves. They're trying to take something that they've thought about and they're trying to experience that. If they have seen that typically... Uh, on Christmas, you celebrate Christmas. They want to experience that. Hence, they become more traditional, right? They are driven to repeat on what they have done before based on what they know works. 
Intuition, on the other hand, seeks to take a feeling and rationalize it. So after you have experienced something and you've had a, a personal subjective experience of, you know, for example, being and looking at the sun or listening to somebody talk, then you want to rationalize that and draw distinctions and differentiate on that using your intellect. Well, the outcome product is an intuition. It is some kind of theory that you can't quite back up that you have drawn from personal experiences that you've had and it requires logical thought and reasoning and it requires some degree of thinking here. And I'm going to explain this more in depth for my patrons. So check out patreon.com slash Eric Thor to understand this even deeper and how I drew and came to this conclusion. See you there.